my computer. All right, Cessna Rocks, good to have you again. All right, I, I didn't go through the engine start process. Um, hopefully, the yep, joystick works, so that's good. I have no idea how to fly this plane. None whatsoever. I guess that's where you start up there. One thing I gotta do is con program my views though. Let's get a uh, that type of view would be good. Ben, you guys flown this yet? Alright, four, five, two. Looks like we got some. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. Oh, I like that. A little USB tar charger in there. And of course, the, uh, the infamous GTN. Let's put in uh, KSLC. And we'll put in um, wow. Let's try this out. Uh, let's go back nearest airport. Uh, yeah, let's just go land at Heber. It's fine. Oops. I guess I can just remove that. It's fine. Whatever. Alright. I have no idea how to fly this plane. Alright, so supposedly I probably have... Okay, so there's takeoff. I'll probably take off flaps, yep. Nose left. Let's see if the lights work here. Yeah, that's the SciTech panel's working. Uh the only the SciTech panel nav's working. Oh, taxi light works. Landing lights work. So that's good. Let's see what happens. Yeah, no, I know my engines are already started. I was trying to figure out um, takeoff. Oh, wow. This thing looks pretty good. Yeah, again, my rudder pedals are making this look not as good as it's supposed to be. I don't know what rotation is in an eclipse, but... Throw landing gear up. Spin spin ratio. Serious Max. I'm not sure if you're supposed to have black smoke out of there or not. Seems like it's not a good idea. I'll do one more buzz to Salt Lake City. How you doing, Max?
Uh oh. Am I losing my engines? How come I lost my engines? Because I just I went too much. Uh oh. Well, I guess we'll land. Cook them, huh? How do you not cook them? Pull the caps, pull the caps. Ooh, you know what I should do? I should try to get some altitude. Since I'm at 145. I'm not going to put the gear down yet. Oh yeah, I'm on fire. That's awesome. Well, I just wanted to test how black smoke looked over uh, the new Salt Lake City, basically. That's what I'm, I'm calling that as. Cleared, cleared to land any runway. Okay. Don't, do not push the engine pads 100%. Okay. It's good to know for the next test flight. She has a nice glide ratio. You know what? I got one good engine. I think I got one good engine, actually. Yeah, this will be easy. You did the same thing? Yeah, it's... I was I I like to say I I normally like to at least do a couple flights on my own before I take it on stream, but it seemed like there were a few people that wanted to see it. I think if I had to guess, I would say Arrow's Rush Arrow Sim Gaming is going to do a stream on this plane here tonight, so you'll be able to get a comprehensive look from cold and dark. I'll probably just fly up to Heber. I don't know what speed you'd land this bird at either. That's the other thing I'd like to study. But we're down. And this is where the, the bad MFG crosswinds come into play. All right. Well, we're gonna uh, we're gonna pretend that we get a repair here on the ground. All right, up here, here. Hey Max, are you uh, are you near your computer? Can you jump on Teamspeak or Discord? Calm down, everyone. Calm down. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's do a short field takeoff. We did live, but that engine's not started. Uh, so that's the left engine. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's just do this. I'm going to study the plane in depth. Trust me. Pretend immersion ruined. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Let's see if this thing actually works here. Hold on. Test one, two. Yeah, what's up? Hey, hey. 
Hey, long time on? no see, man. I know it's been a long time. It's been forever. Forever. How you doing, bud? I'm doing well. How are you? Good. I think I think the I. Plane's looking good. Yeah, it's good. Even on one engine, flies good. Yeah, even on one engine, I I was able to to land it. <laughs> I cooked the engine apparently. Yeah, it's all good. It's a new plane. But yeah. I tell you, that thing is going to get a lot of use on pilot edge. I think to a lot of airports, it's cool. I think it's going to be yeah go to. In fact, I think someone was thinking about starting a VA just for just for these VLJs. Is this considered oh, wow. a VLJ? Yeah, it definitely is. Okay. Dude, the um, the uh, that aer- they did some other plane that I flew last week. The um, it's, it's like the Vision Jet, but it's for uh, it's like not the Viper Jet. It's some some other plane that they've done. It's like the E one thousand, but it's something. It's really good. Oh, cool. Yeah, the uh, the Panthera, I've sure enjoyed. So yeah, well, you the Panthera is a sick plane. That thing that's like two ten true. It's pretty badass. Yeah, yeah. They, I guess there's some people that are using the Panthera to substitute a Cirrus on uh, FS Economy. Oh, really? Yeah. That's what they're doing. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, so I'm just gonna do a quick flight up to Heber, just past Park City. Nice. You're not you're not ready to put that puppy on pile edge. No, not even close. I can't. <laughs> I don't even know how to start it. I I wasn't even gonna put it on stream tonight, but uh, people, a few people were asking, and uh, normally, you know, you know me, I like to fly a plane a f- couple times before I put it on stream. <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. So that's good to see a John fly stream. I caught your vod today. It was awesome. Oh, you did? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah if I, I wasn't doing anything last night, if I'd kick a stream off. Yeah, it was good. Good times. It was. Uh, I could tell that. Uh, you were happily telling the stories and people were enjoying the stories. Oh, yeah. All, all good stories to tell. It was great. And that was a lot of fun. It was a good stream last night. It was I, good. I cut the uh, the first video today, just the uh, Westchester 5 departure. <laughs> um, nice. And what I was able to do is I was able to have both the GoPro 5 footage and the 4 footage kind of synced. And how so did they come out it, it, it's I'm still messing with how to transition between the two so most of the time I'm actually showing both like some like okay. a, a small window I'm showing the wing and the outside view it's kind oh, of that's it's, oh, you're not just like splitting the images I the occasionally I occasionally I go from just one solid frame by itself to the other and then other times I just have both in the view but it's just a little window so I'm just experimenting but unfortunately gotcha. Unfortunately, yeah. when we went to go take off, uh-huh. uh, and you said, let's go ahead and move the camera, the front camera around to show the front of the plane on takeoff. Well, mm-hmm. when I moved the front camera around, I guess I hit, yeah. the, I hit the stop button. <laughs> oh, so so the, fo- the footage on takeoff, then I had to, uh, I had to uh, extract um, Josh's IRL stream. <laughs> Oh really? Into Jeez. and so we have the GoPro five and Josh's IRL. It's kind of cool. I'll be interested huh. to see what you think of it. But I'll mm-hmm. tell you what, my clearance was silky smooth. Silky smooth. <laughs> That's awesome. And I think. And how did the Bahamas stuff come out looking? Uh, I haven't looked at any of it. Oh, you just looked at the West of the five stuff. Yeah. I the the uh, the next thing that I'll work on is the uh, the because we didn't film a lot compared to the Florida trip. But the next, you know, in the States, we didn't film a lot. So I, I have the uh, Charleston arrival. Uh, okay. And I think we're going to have both the wing view and the front view on that. That's good. And I haven't even looked at the Bermuda stuff or Bahama yeah. stuff. Yeah. So, but I, if that, I remember that correctly, came out looking good so I, far, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. If I remember correctly, Josh was up front. So he he's responsible for a lot of the Bahama footage. <laughs> if it doesn't come out this way. Exactly. Josh is good at pullback camera stuffy. I'm sure it's going to look, all look really good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's see if we can do a takeoff here. How much of a stream delay is it tonight? I'm. From... I don't know because I'm in Discord. I, I, I'm, in, I'm in the kitchen right now just making some dinner. Oh, okay. How are you on Discord? So I, I can't watch it and be on Discord. Are you on Discord on your phone? Affirmative. Oh, okay. Cool. So I'm in the kitchen while I'm uh, making some dinner. All right, well, I'm taking the Eclipse, so I'm not going to go at 100% or I'll kill my engines. Yeah, it looks... Yeah. 
It looks, it looks pretty cool, though. I have to admit, that plane looks pretty. How much was it, out of curiosity? I think it was thirty-nine. It was either. Not bad at all. It, it was either. Priced. Is it actually thirty? Either thirty. Yeah, I think it was thirty-nine. It could be thirty-five, That's but. Really good. Yeah. Whoa. Good stuff. Whoa. There we go. All right, well, I'm going to make some dinner, and I'll probably be on in about an hour or so. All right, sounds good, man. Talk to you soon. See you in a bit. Bye. Mr. X looks pretty good from this spot here. All right, you guys convinced me I'll do a couple low passes here. Hold on, I'm gonna do one thing here. Latency's not bad here tonight. Oh, good. You need an Eclipse paint kit stat. Yeah, yeah. Hey, where's the? Uh, just out of curiosity, where is where's the uh, golf livery in the mix? I think I saw you do a couple of of uh, um, Challenger liveries. I think I saw you release a couple. All right, let's go over to Heber. <clears throat> I thought I finished all my challenger requests. I'll PM you in Discord. We'll have it to you tomorrow. Oh, sweet. All right, let's test. Let's, let's trim this up. All right, we're going to keep our engines down. And then we're going to go uh, here. Let's go flight plan. Uh, we'll go nearest airports and we'll go um, Heber and we'll go direct to okay so now that's in there so now if I go I don't, I don't even know where the autopilot is I guess it's right up here huh so let's turn AP on let's go into nav mode uh, CDI should be GPS Is it sky view? I guess it's sky view. Autopilot. Nav. Let's rotate that up to. Yeah, we'll take that up. Okay, we can go up 1,200 feet. So I think we're on a direct course for Heber, if I'm not mistaken. I have yet to fly the Challenger. I bought it, but I have yet to fly it. Golf course. Golf course. Golf course. Hey, Torbinator. Sorry if I missed any of their chat. Anyone else here? If I don't crash into the mountains, yeah. I think I'm going up at 1,200. Actually, I'm kind of not going up at 1,200. 
Let's go, uh... Set altitude 10,000. Altitude set to 10,000 feet. Oh, we're gonna, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. <laughs> How gorgeous is that? Make sure we don't hit any mountains. Skim the trees. Hey, GPB, Greg, how you doing? We need a replay of that. Yeah, I just, I, I definitely took the squirrel out of the tree. Chipmunk came too. Engine fire now buzzing trees. <laughs> you want your money back? How big of a difference is between 16 and 17? Um, well, it depends. If you're in a Cessna, it's a big difference, but if you're in a jetliner and you're at flight levels, you're not going to notice much difference. This is this happens to be 17, I think, here. It could be, yeah, this is 17. Oh, I'll bet you there's some really good fishing right there. Slamming our way through. Okay, balance. Yeah, this is the uh, this is the new eclipse. How you doing, Matt? Yeah, this is the new eclipse. I guess it came out this morning. And uh, I I don't know much about it yet, to be honest. I'm just playing around with it. Just took off out of the new the new Mr. X uh, Salt Lake City that's going to be released shortly all right probably should get down uh, according to the map we're five miles away okay let's see if the voice command works set altitude 8,000 Set altitude 8,000. No, nope. set altitude 7,000. Auto throttle on. Set altitude 7,000. Altitude set to 7,000 feet. It did work a little bit there. All right, let's bring back the throttle. Let's go into heading mode. I need to program in a view for this bad boy. I'm going to do that right here. I'll go into, I'll sync the heading bug, and I'll go into heading mode. Set heading 360. Heading bug set to 360 degrees. Yeah, it's, it's in, the airport is definitely under me. They modeled everything as far as the gauge is wrong, but still an awesome little jet. Yeah. I, I like it in just the first few minutes. Granted, I didn't do a cold and dark, but that's the airport we're landing at. Everything seems to be working okay. I, I took the engines over 100% and I, I lost one and I had to do a one engine landing at, at Salt Lake City. Hey, 
Hey, trucker man. Yeah, I had a great trip. Great trip. All right, we're just going to adjust our heading. Just a little bit here. Just one second. I'll be right back, guys. Hold on. Okay. Huh? That's fine. All right. Let's see. Let's go ahead and turn heading. Oh, we can take the autopilot off, actually. I think that turned it off. Doing quite a sharp turn, I know. I'm trying to think, it probably should come in a little closer on the view. That way, you guys see. Whoa, whoa! Don't know what that was. All right, let's cut our engines. Let's get back down to uh, a reasonable speed. There's no... Yeah, I need to read up on the flap speed. One thing I do like about the avionics package is I can, like, I can hover over the altitude and vertical speed, etc., and I can change things and act as, as if it's like a touch screen, which is kind of cool. But here's the problem is this plane is not slowing down quick enough. So it's like I almost have to encourage it. Probably shouldn't put the gear down at that speed. They'd probably rip off, but we'll treat it, we'll treat the, the gear like a, a spoiler. You've done a lot of the Panthera balance. That's pretty cool. I like the Panthera. I, and like I said, with that one as well, I haven't learned all of it yet, but it's pretty good stuff. All right, we're at 126, and we're slowing down, so we should be okay for as long as we don't have double runways here. I think we, we'll just do a touch and go and then head back over to Salt Lake, but... We'll make it a legit touch and go. Oh, runway follow contours. Okay. And the MFG crosswinds are way too sensitive. Flaps coming up. gear up one more fly by try to hit the drone all right we'll fly down Provo Canyon then come back up and land at Salt Lake City you can do an approach at 70 Panthera plus rep that would be good that would be good You was wondering because you did zoom level six, zoom level sixteen on Utah. And that's all I fly is GA. You know, sixteen is going to be better than stock, um, and and a lot of it comes down to how much disk space you have. You know, if you can do the whole state of Utah, 
yeah, just do 17. No. Um, yeah, I would just do 17. Now, if you have enough disk space, you can do that little tiny twig in your config file that does 18 just around the airports if you want. But let's see how. Let's see how she handles this. Can we fly inverted? Yeah, we can. Red is killing in roulette tonight. Yeah, I'm gonna bet on black 31 here in just a bit. It. I'm gonna have to read up on this bad boy. Pretty mountains right here. That's Timpanogos right there. They, it's named after an Indian princess. Should we try to get down low and slow inside the canyon? Or low and fast inside the canyon? Oh, don't go into the red on the engines though. Three hundred and forty. Better slow down. Are my wings going to rip off, do you think? I don't know. Better be trimmed up. Welcome to another episode of Ripping Wings Off with John Fly Kappa. <laughs> Thank you for the sub, Bellens. Appreciate that. We almost did rip the wings off. We came close. Appreciate the support. All right, let's change the lighting just a little bit here. Just to get a little bit of... A little bit of night lighting. Oh, she's having to rework her magic here. There we go. See, I think X and Viro, hmm. If we go X and Viro, Kavik here. No, not much changed. Let's change the night lighting just a little bit there. Okay. Ah. I want to look at some ortho. Some fast ortho. Did the X Plane Eleven release come out for the CRG? I don't know about that. I think I think it did. And the rumor is the V two will be out this month. Be kind of cool. All right, we're gonna follow I fifteen up. Actually, we're gonna trim up. I'm gonna try something. So if I bring up my GPS and I go back and I go flight, I go nearest airport, Salt Lake City, direct to there we go and we then go uh, nav and autopilot on. And then we go. Oop. 
she's dipping down. Set altitude 9,000. Altitude set to 9,000 feet. Okay, and then we come over here and we go procedures. Uh, load arrival. I want to do... Actually, I need to get rid of this one. So we'll remove this waypoint. And we'll go back. We'll go procedures. And we'll go load arrival. We're going to do ILS... Three four left. Via FFU. There we go. We'll go ahead and slow down a little bit here. Interesting. Yeah, let's go back to Fairfield. We're supposed to be at Fairfield. Well, we can be at Putter or Pooter at 10,000, so 9,000 at Camry. Okay, let's make a quick turn here. Looks pretty good. Let's see how she handles the ILS. One step closer to taking her on pilot edge. Landing lights. Yo, John Fly, acknowledge the follower. We got uh, Pat Patatucci. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. All right, now we're going to go ahead and engage. We'll go direct to Putter. I haven't seen a lot of balloons positive rate. Not yet, anyway. Slow down a little bit more. Uh, Mike Zulu Hotel. I put the PE emote on standby for the moment, we, and we we uh, we uploaded a, a, a new emote that I wanted to test the waters with. We'll probably bring the PE emote when we get the next two unlocked, or I may just bring it back every once in a while. I don't know. I think it's quite okay to uh, to rotate some in and out. You're coming up on a half mil computer flying. You should be spending that on auctions and stuff. It's a little bit slow. Salt Lake City Tower, our approach wants us to keep up to speed. 
So we'll put in a little power there. Hashtag broke. Okay, let's tune in. Actually, it looks like it automatically... No, it didn't. Three, four left. So, set nav one, 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 one point nine. Set nav two one 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 point nine. N A V two set to one 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 point nine. Okay. And we want to be at nine thousand at Cam Yeah, nine thousand at Cambry. Ooh, better slow down. This bird can get away from you quick. What if I is there an IAS mode in this plane? I don't even know. Let's arm the approach. Let's see if she can. Here we go. Uh, set course three four three. NAV one course set to three four three. She should have started down already. Set altitude five thousand. Altitude set to five thousand feet. Hmm. Yeah, Dunlop's supposed to be at eight thousand. There it goes. Finally engaged right there. Okay. Good. Now it's just a matter of controlling my speed. Seems to engage using the same button as VS. Okay. I will have I will when you have something I don't already have. That's a good point. Maybe you want maybe you, well, I think the Salt Lake City is gonna have to be a random drawing though, but just because it was uh, given to me by Mr. X. I've probably got to do a random to anyone who joins. All right. I think I can put in one notch of flaps. Maybe not. It engaged when it has based off the V dots on the right side of the HSI. Okay. Does this one pop out? I think it does. Anyway, what, that's true. Nobody can beat you. I would agree with that. All right, Watt, thanks for jumping in there. Catch you next time. In the real world, I think we probably keep 150, mi 150 knots until... Probably two mile final or or hmm, yeah. It can pop out using a click spot on the aircraft icon. Okay. Thank you, Tim. What do you mean by aircraft icon? Center of the HSI. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I like that. I do like that. 
Not even Torb next time, that's true. Yeah, you pretty much own the channel. Is this part of the landing checklist right here? Okay, that makes sense. Thanks for the tips. I don't get how your sim is running at just below 30. Mine runs at 40, yet it stutters like I'm at 20. I have 30 off too. Uh, yeah, I get a micro stutter every once in a while. It's going to be really interesting once I load in a new computer this week. Uh, I've got a brand new computer, 7700K processor, a 1080 Ti video card, gigantic amount of hard disk space and I'm going to I'm going to load X Plane 11 fresh and barely have anything installed in it and then I'm going to install some brand new ortho photo and I might even install P3D don't tell anyone but it seems smooth right now I'm gonna go ahead and put in uh, a notch, another notch of flaps. Slow down. And I'll put our gear down. I hear the forbidden word. Yes, the brand new ortho photo. I, I have no idea if it even looks good or not. I haven't even. I've done the new secret sauce, and I, I it may not look as good. It's all about experimenting. What is happening with the world? Yeah. Don't tell anyone, though. Shh. Wow, look at that. Oh, yeah. Looking gorgeous. Keep the speed up. What, do you, what would you guys land in an eclipse at? 110? What would you land on an eclipse at? I don't even know. I'm flying. Uh, you're flying around Iceland and your Cessna. Great weather today. It's very rare for Iceland to have great weather this time of year. I think, although I'm not an Iceland meteorological expert. Landing speed would be around a hundred. All right. Well, we'll just stay above a hundred. All right, we'll disengage the autopilot. I guess we take our yaw damper off as well. And these dang MFG crosswinds are so sensitive. See that? Whoa. Whoa. Don't even mess with this cross. Yeah, that's crazy. It's just not right. Little rudder pedal. Yeah, see it? Whoop. 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 Yeah, see the rudder pedals are just not supposed to do that, right? All right, we'll settle, settle her down. Does anyone have any tips on how I can get those rudder pedals to not be so sensitive? Let's look at the settings while I'm here. Ooh. Okay, come flaps up. Such a good look looking little jet. Good job, Aerobask. Good job. All right. I'm going to take a look at my settings so you guys can see them. So up here under this, we go to joystick, and then we bring up the crosswinds. Now, if I bring up the control sensitivity, I got yaw, 
Max fine grain controls near center. I probably should somewhat f no. Do you think I should go in the that's control response. Maybe I should go in there somewhere and try that. And then stability augmentation. Should I I don't even know. See, it's got a little bit right there. <laughs> Red again, I quit. Ooh. Red's been hot tonight. Look at that exquisite paint on the taxiway. Looks good. John Fly Bot wins 30 grand. Cat 6, let's go. <laughs> exactly. Okay, let's pull into the Mr. X Salt Lake City Terminal. Mr. X has a terminal named after him in Salt Lake City. I hope so. If he doesn't, I'm going to get on it. <laughs> Whoa, stay on the taxiway, though. Just taking a look at the lights is all. Uh, Trucker Man, it'll be available on the org store pretty soon. I can't say exactly when, but uh, this is release candidate one, which means that it'll be out very soon. Yeah, it'll be it'll be good. Okay. I got to get a good shot. From the outside. We should put our gear up right away, too. It looks pretty good there. Not gonna lie. <laughs> 